let's continue to uh, next uh, video according for essential EA tooling. Uh, so I, uh, from next video, I will start to move to the Weaver part. Uh, I hope it's, uh, uh, if you watch my earlier uh, seven videos uh, already, you have uh, enough uh, information and uh, knowledge uh, to build this uh, essential open source EA tool and also uh, make the initial uh, way of uh, modeling. Uh, so this video I named that as uh, build your own meta model. Uh, it's not our actual uh, the modeling uh, the video for within essential EA tool, but uh, I hope this video as uh, our connection between the previous and the next videos uh, so that uh, you can start to build your own uh, knowledge base uh, as our meta model. So I will explain that uh, in more detail why we uh, need our separate uh, meta model. So let's back to our uh, mind map. So uh, within this uh, mind map, is, uh, I document uh, all the videos uh, with this uh, uh, the purpose uh, so let's uh, recap in the first part big part is uh, we introduce uh, essential uh, enterprise architecture project and the demo to you how to download and install this open source package is uh, quite a lot uh, package uh, I hope is uh, after 002 you uh, have your essential EA to up and running uh, and we introduce the overview of the essential and then start to use that uh, from our demo uh, of modeling the business capability model. Uh, and uh, I gave you the two approach. Uh, one is uh, if you don't have our uh, large volume of the uh, entities, uh, you can use uh, 005 to learn how to manually input uh, into this uh, prodigy tool for modeling your uh, the certain uh, enterprise architecture aspects. Uh, we use Archisurance as the sample uh, case study, so which is uh, one open group uh, published uh, the case study. Uh, when I uh, record this 005, it's still the version 3.1, uh, but recently uh, open group upgrade uh, the Archimate uh, language uh, standard to 3.2. Uh, so they also publish uh, version 3.2 Archisurance uh, uh, the case study. Uh, later is uh, we will use the latest uh, version to uh, make further modeling. And the uh, uh, latest uh, uh, the video is we also introduce you our import utility uh, so that you can have a way to bulk model uh, the import uh, our large volume of the entities uh, into the enterprise uh, architecture tool for uh, essential. Uh, so uh, with the last uh, seven videos, uh, I uh, expect uh, you also get enough knowledge to handle the, this uh, special uh, part G version 3.5, which is compatible for essential EA. Uh, and also you can use the variable uh, the way to input data uh, and you have uh, basic uh, f uh, information about the uh, essential uh, meta model. Uh, this video we introduced uh, are your own meta model that's uh, separate to the essential meta model. So, uh, and uh, after this one from next video is uh, you remember I put uh, mind map uh, in the left is uh, uh, to document uh, numbers of these uh, views. So if you uh, successfully install the Weaver, you may see the uh, by default is uh, they have built in more than 150 uh, the ready views already, uh, but they are empty. So they are waiting for your modeling entities. Uh, then uh, they code that is a way as are uh, populate uh, your content or your knowledge into the view. Uh, so if, uh, through the past uh, videos, we populate the business capability into the some videos uh, views like this uh, capability dashboard, capability summary, capability model. Uh, and from next video, we will uh, go through view by view based on our insurance uh, case study. So we build on our Archisurance uh, Essential EA project 
and try to mirror what uh, Arc Assurance uh, doing uh, in Archimate language and try to model that into the essential. Uh, at the same time, is uh, to analyze uh, how we can populate uh, the necessary views. And for this video, uh, actually, is uh, before you uh, go to the uh, hands-on the views, uh, I would like that you can also. Uh, if you are not the only one uh, EA in your team, is uh, uh, also your team should maintain a certain uh, the modeling approach. Uh, this approach uh, should be your team's uh, specific uh, meta model. Uh, so if you come to uh, let's go to the essential uh, the this uh, let, let's see so essential university. So I introduced this uh, during the videos. Uh, so if you come to here, uh, you can see uh, if you want to do the model, you can uh, modeling work, you can go to uh, this uh, how to use essential, how to follow the every uh, the aspect. Like this uh, next video, we will try to discuss the value stream uh, modeling. So you can learn how to model value stream as well as customer journey from this page. Uh, and then this, uh, uh, you can also know how to populate uh, the views uh, uh, from your model elements based on the, this essential meta model. So essential meta model already give you uh, quite a lot uh, the this uh, key class and uh, relationship. For example, business layer. What we have done is uh, we model the business capability. Then essential tell you is a business capability in the middle can link to objective, link to principle, link to business role, link to product concept, link to business domain. And also they can have the hierarchy using this way. Uh, and next time is a uh, next video when we model the value stream, you can for refer from here. Value stream can link to value stage, value, uh, value stream can link to product type. Uh, but this is, I should say first, this is our excellent uh, meta model. So I learned a lot from here and I use this in my actual model. Uh, that's uh, no problem uh, at all. Uh, but I see two uh, the additional improvements or the, uh, uh, the gaps uh, for uh, my day-to-day -day work is uh, first is uh, this meta model is not the 100% uh, meta model. For example, is uh, if you model our uh, the business uh, capability uh, within the uh, essential tool. So uh, we already have this uh, business capability we for our arc assurance uh, project. Uh, so you can see here is a uh, business capability have a lot of the uh, the those uh, relationship. Uh, but in our this uh, uh, essential published uh, the meta model, they don't have all these uh, links uh, uh, showing in that picture. So uh, if you are happen to use uh, one uh, meta model, uh, the relationship, but not here, is, uh, that means uh, you, you should bear in mind is, uh, there's uh, something missing here. Secondly, is, uh, here between two concepts is only one line. Uh, so we don't know is uh, what's the actual relation uh, between that. Uh, so normally, is uh, if we treat every link uh, as there is a, a relation between two uh, entity, one is a subject, one object, uh, or they have the inverse uh, relation. Uh, we should see two lines, uh, but every line should have our name. You know, for example, is uh, business capability should have our uh, connection with the business uh, process, but we don't see the business uh, process here. Uh, so they should have to realize uh, by business process, then business process, oh, business process is here. So business process should realize uh, the business uh, capability. So if you read from here, so uh, business, uh, this is business capability, you can see from this line. Uh, this slot is realized by business process. So uh, it's not show uh, the all the relation. At the same time, they, in the relation, they don't show this uh, important name. So that's the uh, reason is I would like to uh, uh, build our self 
meta model. If I use realization relation between business capability and the business process, uh, I should document that. Uh, and then is I should let my colleague uh, with my team member, as well as other team member knows uh, this relationship we have used in the enterprise architecture too. So if somebody else also help to contribute to your uh, the enterprise architecture repository, they should know is uh, this is our relationship that we can keep adding more knowledge. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, requirements I think for myself. I hope is uh, you uh, also treat this as our demand uh, also uh, to help you and your team together to maintain our meta model along with your repository building. But it's not a uh, clear way that you maintain this meta model in this uh, project because uh, meta model is a conceptual layer, uh, abstract from your actual modeling. Uh, they represent the the context uh, or the concepts name, and not the exact uh, uh, entity name. So uh, that's the reason is I would like to build our meta model separately. But I don't need to use uh, the enterprise uh, essential EA two to do that. So that is I'm uh, trying to use our just uh, the prodigy, uh, the standard prodigy editor. Uh, so. If you use the essential prodigy, it's the version 3.5. Uh, but if you download the uh, clean the prodigy, uh, it's already the you can see it's, uh, today is the 5.6.3. So you can use this one to build the uh, meta model. So uh, let me do this. Uh, so if I put in here is uh, essential meta model. So I. I built this uh, our IRI, so and then uh, switch to here. Uh, I have empty uh, this one, so that is uh, fine. So let me save on that first. So essential meta model. So I save that in here. So class. So let let me save uh, that as the class, uh, and then I will put IRI. Actually, not call that meta model. So. Let's uh, first load the all the classes. Uh, so I want is uh, my model, meta model is uh, can create an instance uh, under the essential name pre-built uh, the class. Uh, so that is I need uh, all these uh, class uh, loaded. Uh, so uh, if you manually do this uh, in uh, Prodigy, that will be huge. Uh, so is I have uh, built our text file in. This uh, repository, uh, GitHub. Within that is uh, I have already typed in the all the uh, essential classes uh, in this uh, hierarchy way. Uh, so you can find this uh, from the subfolder essential EA called the essential class structure .txt. So if you select all, I also uh, load uh, this uh, EA support part. Uh, I mentioned that uh, later. So control. A control C, then you select O, then back to the prodigy, select the O thing, then to create a hierarchy, then paste, and then continue without prefix suffix and keep this uh, disjoint O. Then you have uh, all the essentials uh, classes uh, uh, loaded here. Uh, the reason is I put uh, EA support is uh, I introduced the essential EA tools uh, meta model. Uh, they have these uh, four layers from business uh, in, uh, information application to technology. If you familiar TOGAF, uh, you may uh, treat these uh, have a certain linkage or relation uh, or similarities uh, go with the open group uh, standard uh, for this uh, enterprise architecture. Indeed, they borrow some concept from uh, TOGAF, uh, but they extend uh, certain things uh, to uh, the every TOGAF layer. They separate that to conceptual, logical, and physical. So those are uh, very easy understood, and you can find uh, benchmarking with uh, TOGAF. But I should uh, emphasize is uh, if you really uh, analyze the class structure of uh, uh, essential tool, 
their EA support folder actually uh, include the more important uh, the enterprise architecture con uh, concepts, uh, which is not the exact uh, uh, directly the EA concept, but they are the enterprise uh, important domains. Uh, for example, the governance, change management, uh, the strategy management, uh, standard management, service delivery, uh, as well as the security, so obligation performance, a life cycle. So uh, those are, ev uh, even they put that uh, into the EA support are uh, quite uh, the weak naming, but I should say is uh, when you do the essential EA modeling, uh, you will uh, gradually to see these uh, uh, the class domains are really interesting and informative. Uh, and for example, the, uh, when you uh, uh, the expand the security, you can see security also have the conceptual, logical, physical. So that means is uh, security is uh, actually is uh, uh, use the same structure like uh, uh, these four major domains. Uh, so or four major layers, uh, but the security by uh, uh, normally is uh, they are not put into the uh, the talk of uh, EA uh, the group. So uh, it's uh, put in here. Uh, but you can uh, actually, if you work in the security program, uh, you can find quite a lot of security related uh, the concepts. Uh, Especially is uh, you can build uh, business capability, you can build uh, application capability, technical uh, technology capability. You can also have uh, some specific security capability. So those are the um, uh, rich uh, the library for from the essential tool. Uh, but now we have this uh, loaded into my separate uh, protege protege ontology. Uh, what I will uh, do this is, uh, uh, you remember, is uh, we have the business capability already modeled in our uh, uh, the art insurance uh, uh, essential project. Uh, capability at least can include our capability. So uh, that means is, uh, we can go to the business layer. Uh, so to build our first meta model relation. So go to the business capability. So let's. Uh, Create uh, capability. Oh, let's uh, also use the business capability because later on we may have the other layers of capability. Uh, you don't need uh, to make this underscore. So you can, like me, is just uh, in this newer version protege. You just use the space, and when they save, they will add by default our underscore because they don't want to add keep our space uh, in the either the class or the instance or the individual's uh, name. So, uh, the, but you can add um, uh, underscore uh, yourself. So we create our individual. Now to make your, uh, uh, the, this, uh, 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 the meta model, you need our relationship. This relationship is the object the property. Let's create that is uh, uh, parent. Of, and we also have our child of. So uh, these two relations are in the inverse each other. So which means is uh, we create the two, uh, and then this uh, we back to the individual. Then we select this one and uh, object. So it's uh, parent. You can use uh, control space. Then this uh, will. Auto uh, complete. If you have uh, some uh, the uh, the duplicate uh, uh, the entities with the same first two characters, uh, they will give you a list uh, so so that you can choose. Then is uh, we have the capability. It's not the case sensitive. You can just uh, use the tape. Oh, so invalid. Oh, it's the business capability. So business capability. So now I have that is a parent of a business capability. Uh, so, uh, and I don't have that as a child, but uh, if I enable reasoner and you use a control R, so you see here, child per business cap uh, of business capability is uh, inferred from the, your knowledge based on your uh, the in inverse uh, uh, the properties uh, rule. So uh, this is your uh, the meta model now. So. Uh, I should say, uh, let's uh, save that. Uh, and we 
uh, remember is we have this uh, business process. You can have that uh, realize uh, realized by. So uh, when we uh, move to the uh, business process modeling uh, later on uh, to populate the business process hierarchy view, uh, then I will add that uh, into here. Uh, so that means is, uh, this is uh, our uh, meta model now. So I will save this to our separate file. So uh, within the project file, I save this uh, to the RT assurance RDF. So uh, I will quit this uh, later on. It's uh, based on the, uh, the RT assurance. Uh, but I will leave these uh, capabilities as a sample in the original uh, file. So this uh, original file, uh, if you come to here, is I save that as this uh, essential class. So this is our new version protege uh, file. Uh, it has the old class, uh, but if you uh, choose, I think it's, uh, we have the individual. Let me see the capability. You can try to find find this uh, parent of. So you can see here, parent of object property. So in the beginning of the file, so we create this uh, child of parent of. And, and then this, uh, we use this uh, par parent of. We have a four, so one, two, three, and then we use that uh, uh, in this part. So we make this uh, as our business capability is a parent of and also business capability is also the child of uh, business capability so using this way uh, we have uh, uh, document uh, this line so this line means uh, uh, is linked to uh, self uh, but they have our two relation actually is uh, the child business capability is uh, the uh, ch uh, child of the upper layer uh, so what this uh, populate uh, means, uh, uh, when you uh, back to your essential, uh, and you remember is uh, we have uh, create this uh, weaver, and you can publish this uh, to the weaver. I just uh, use the local host. Uh, if you have a web server, you can publish this to your server, definitely. Uh, and then come to here. Uh, so I don't create uh, any uh, the headers uh, yet, but uh, later on we can also customize here, like to go to the Assurance Enterprise Architecture. What we have uh, done is uh, we have this uh, business capability dashboard, so already populated based on our uh, bulk load of 44 capability elements, uh, and they have the hierarchy. So uh, what we have documented just now is we document this relationship. Uh, we have a capability they can include the capability, business capability, I mean. Uh, so from now on, I think is uh, if I back to our mind map, next video we will uh, start from our value stream uh, and the capability cross mapping. This is based on, so I will select uh, uh, the, the capable views from uh, our insurance case study. So uh, next video is uh, we will uh, build this uh, acquire insurance product business uh, uh, value stream and this value stream will have a four value stage and then we will cross mapping that to uh, the business uh, capability and uh, populate this to the value stream summary uh, the view uh, and at the same time is uh, we will uh, add our uh, necessary uh, relationship into our separate uh, our, uh, the meta model file uh, no matter the uh, depending on what state's relation and what's the relation between value stream and the value stage and the value stage to value stage. So that is the uh, the keep we when we keep modeling more, uh, I will uh, repeat these uh, three uh, the key parts uh, into every video. So first is uh, doing the model uh, modeling work in essential prodigy uh, two. Uh, secondly, is uh, through the essential property to pop populate or publish uh, your model, uh, the knowledge uh, into the selected uh, view. Uh, 
the essential view uh, or we call that is portal. And the third is uh, at the same time, we will document what we have uh, uh, practiced uh, the relationship uh, into our separate uh, prodigy uh, meta model file. Uh, so once we uh, keep uh, practicing this, uh, you will uh, gradually to see uh, you may have uh, more and more uh, the knowledge uh, documented here. Uh, and also you can start to see uh, from certain uh, those, those uh, modeling view. So then you can see here, business capability will already have uh, this relation. Then those are your team knowledge, uh, I hope. And uh, uh, when you have a new team member join, uh, it will be easier for you to transfer the knowledge and uh, warming up our new members uh, to come to your uh, modeling contribution so easily. So uh, let's uh, uh, continue like this way. And I hope uh, you have are also built, uh, download the the separate uh, prodigy and follow my video to practice uh, this uh, uh, essential class uh, load into uh, this uh, separate uh, prodigy file. Uh, or you can use my file uh, here. So uh, in my prodigy, uh, uh, this uh, ongoing uh, uh, online uh, GitHub repository, you can go to the essential EA. So this uh, class structure file is here uh, and what i have just uh, saved is the essential class rdf that is uh, based on the uh, this uh, class uh, structure uh, with one uh, capability sample uh, individual and the relationship uh, building up uh, and our uh, arc insurance uh, uh, this uh, essential project is within here. Uh, so uh, if you're familiar with the uh, project structure, there's a, by default, it's a three separate file. There's a PPRJ is the project file. Pins and the pond is one is the class for the uh, list. One is this uh, individual list. So normally you have this three. Uh, if you enable uh, this uh, collaboration with the uh, this uh, uh, change tracking, uh, you will have our one more file to have this uh, change, uh, the log. Uh, and then this, uh, uh, what my, our meta model is uh, putting here. I haven't uh, uh, the upload here, so let me uh, upload at archisurance meta model. This file is I will delete. It's just for testing purpose. Uh, so uh, this one is I will starting to uh, maintain uh, video by video from next one. Uh, so we uh, we will use this way to track our learning and the practicing the uh, this uh, arc insurance uh, work. Uh, and by the way, uh, before closing, is uh, if you uh, back to my uh, repository, so. Uh, I have, uh, let, let's see, so guitar, so I show you is uh, where you can find that uh, arc insurance, uh, the case study. So I have our uh, separate repository called the arc insurance practice. Uh, this repository is uh, used for uh, using the Archimate tool uh, to uh, model the arc insurance uh, uh, case study. You can learn from Archimate tool, uh, but we are we will going to use the essential tool to model the arc insurance. Uh, but we will use the same file. So within this repository, you go to the docs, uh, and you can find the the different version of this uh, arc insurance uh, case study. So this one, the 2023rd April, is the latest one which I will use. Its uh, name is the Y231. So. Uh, during this uh, earlier video, you may see is I use this 3.1 version, but uh, let's see what's the uh, the involvement and what's the updates uh, between these two versions. I hope is uh, that is not impact our later modeling work. Uh, okay, uh, that's I hope is uh, enough uh, things uh, mentioned in this video, uh, and please uh, 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 go to offline and uh, try to prepare your 
own uh, protege and uh, your uh, the starting point of the meta model then uh, prepared to our next video so see you then bye for now